All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Alan Thomas, aka Shadow Assassins, and today I have some more artwork, I guess, pertaining to the webcomic that I'm working on. It's another edition of making a webcomic, and to show what I've been working on recently, I have actually two pieces to go over today. One is another environment drawing. Now, for this one, I oh my god, I don't know what I was doing. Um. I need a, almost like a basic plane for, I guess, the characters and the battles and stuff in my upcoming webcomic. Probably wouldn't make that much sense now, but it would later. Um, not getting into too much detail, at least story-wise, but I needed uh, almost like a futuristic sort of martial arts fighting plate. Like, I know that sounds so crazy, and it's like I'm already having a hard time explaining it, but basically i needed like a futuristic martial arts i guess fighting area so i wanted something like a shaolin temple in the background but i didn't want it looking exactly like a shaolin temple like i didn't want a, a asian temple in space that would look crazy so i didn't want to go that route instead what i actually did was the way that most i guess to try and make it look more spacey or more futuristic spacey what the hell am i talking about but more futuristic the way that most Shaolin temples sort of have, I guess, like sharp points and a lot of rectangular shapes to it. Rectangular shapes are like triangles and stuff to it. I wanted to switch mines up a bit. So I thought if I sort of designed it in a similar way to an actual temple, but I use rounded shapes instead, it would probably give it like a futuristic look to it. And instead of making it look wooden, use like um, sort of like shiny or metallic uh looking textures so at least in the way that i painted it um so that was the route that i went there of course as usual with a lot of my artwork you don't see the major details in it because i put something in front of it to cover it up so uh towards the end of this painting i have a giant neon yin yang symbol that's stuck in front of the actual temple itself so you'll partially be able to see it and yes at this point if you're just watching my stuff there uh, yin yang symbols all over my uh, new comic. I think every environment that I've created so far has a large yin yang symbol of some sort in it and that's just my thing with this comic. Um, every environment just about is gonna have a yin yang symbol. I don't know I was a big fan of uh, fighting games with like stuff on the like crazy designs or like with crazy designs or like the fighting mats like in Mortal Kombat, how they would fight with the dragon logo on the ground, which in theory makes absolutely no sense, but I just thought it was awesome. Um, so I'm just using yin yang symbols all over mine. Um, that's, like I said, it's just gonna be my thing, I'm owning. Outside of that, I did stick a yin yang symbol in the center of the, I guess the ground in this environment, but I didn't wanna, uh, I only have that and I didn't want to just have a large one because I've been doing that quite a bit lately so I wanted to change things up so I went the route of creating almost like the uh now don't get me trying to guess what it's actually called but the uh I guess like the little scope that you see on like a, a gun or something I wanted that little like hitman looking design or whatever that mess is I wanted that on the ground and then to put a yin yang symbol in the center of it which almost makes no sense but I don't know I stuck it in anyways other than that coming up with a color scheme I haven't really used a lot of greens and I don't do a lot of purples so I wanted to really I guess use that type of color scheme and then green and purple sort of bounces off each other pretty nicely Ask Donatello so I wanted to get that into the actual color palette of this uh, environment so that's how I came up with the pretty much the look of the colors that I chose and most of the design is just wrapped around that, including the uh, background of the temple and giant uh, neon yin yang symbol. So that's pretty much all there is. This is pr a pretty simple environment compared to the couple previous ones that I've done, but I still like the way that this looks nonetheless. And then uh, the other piece that I worked on was actually a bit of uh, character concept art that I've been doing for one of my main character was almost like a, a space guardian for the heroes in my uh, 
upcoming webcomic. My idea with him was I wanted him, even though this is in space and theory, I still wanted him to have an earthly look to him because I wanted him to have some type of connection to Earth. But I also wanted this sort of royal look to him at the same time, this royal or almost heavenly look to him. Um, a lot of the inspiration for this design was kind of a uh, Raiden from Mortal Kombat. And this next one's going to sound pretty odd, but I also uh, was highly influenced by the Akatsuki look. Don't ask me how s such a dark uh, character design helped me come up with an angelic-like character, a real uh, royal type character, but it just did. I don't know what it is about the uh, Akatsuki design that I really like, especially the hats that Itachi and Kisame would wear in Naruto. I thought those were awesome, so I borrowed it. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. Um. And I use this for this particular design. Um, I had a couple other designs that I didn't go with. Some because I just didn't like the way that they came out and others because for whatever reason, which I didn't post these on Instagram because they were just garbage. It just looked like Raiden ripoffs. So I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. And uh, one of them in particular actually looked like Lee Long from uh, Soul Blade. Most people nowadays, especially uh, young teens and whatnot don't even know what the hell a soul blade is even though soul caliber 6 just recently got released but nonetheless uh it has nothing to do with anything right now um so though that was my thought process with the character design um i couldn't really come up with the character or character, a color scheme which is why i did a bunch of different color schemes as you'll probably notice in this video and i actually uh as I've been doing a lot with my webcomic, I've been getting some input from my subscribers and then sort of, or followers, I should say subscribers, it's Instagram. Uh, I've been getting input from my followers, just which ones they like the best and then just sort of weigh what they were thinking or why they like certain ones in my mind. And also keeping in mind what direction I'm trying to go and what my comic and then sort of making a decision that way. Cause me just saying, oh, these colors look right and i'm gonna just roll with these i don't always want to go that route so sometimes it's better to get uh other people's opinion sometimes at least <laughs> and in this case it has been working um nobody's been giving me any really bad feedback or crazy feedback and i am asking so you know and i'll periodically do that with some of my character designs at least for color schemes for my web comics so if you follow me on instagram and you see a post of mine for character concept art and I'm asking what type of color scheme that you or that you're really feeling don't hesitate to let me know which one it is I guess this one must have I've come up with some pretty decent uh, color schemes for this character because it hasn't been as easy the first one that I did for my main character was pretty simple um, everybody liked the purple one so and I really like the purple one anyway so that was the one that I rolled with uh, this was a tad bit more difficult. Um, I've gotten quite a few different color schemes. There's only one particular one that I haven't gotten any sort of feedback to that one at all. Um, so I'm pretty much know that I'm going to scrap that. And it's actually my least favorite one anyway. So it doesn't make things any easier on me because I didn't really, not that I didn't like it, but it was my least favorite out of all the choices. But uh, yeah, this is getting pretty difficult, but I know I have something soon enough. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much where I am so far, or at least at the moment with my webcomic. I'm still doing other designs and whatnot, but as far as the stuff that I have to show, this is pretty much it. Yeah, that's what I've been up to for the past week. And where I am going forward is I still have a couple of more pieces of, well, I still have a few more environments to draw. So there are probably more of that coming out in the coming days. And I have quite a few more, uh, well, not quite a few more. I have a lot of character design concepts to work on. Um, I've drawn quite a few characters and I'll be showcasing those also in the very near future. So yeah, that's about it. If you want more updates on what I'm doing with my web comics or any ideas or things that I'm tossing around, um, be sure to follow my email list that I now have up. The link will be down in the description below. You can sign up and then you'll get little emails here and there i guess like once a week i'll try to get them in uh with updates as to what i'm doing art wise whether it be my web comics or any type of 
paintings or anything that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, go ahead and sign up for that. And also make sure to check out me on social media at Shad Assassins. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And also check out my website, ShadAssassins.com to find all my other links if you don't see them below. And a lot of my artwork and prints and designs that I've done. And that's about it. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy yourselves. And I'm out.